Hey there, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing the Vibe Pad 2 from Orion. So let's get to it, huh? Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing the Vibe Pad 2 from the company Orion, courtesy of the lovely folks over at Peep Show Toys. Now, this toy retails for 150 USD, and it is a serious chunk of a toy. The case is lovely and covers many important details. Mostly that there are two settings. It has 120 minute charge time. It runs for a maximum of 60 minutes. The remote does many things. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get it out of here. So inside the box, you have a massive plastic thing. Inside that plastic thing, you have a pad, a remote, a charger, and taped to the bottom of it, <clears throat> the guide. There we go. So, let's see. Make sure you clean it, charge it, clean it after using it. It does say use a water-based lubricant only. This is a very generic info sheet and it's like, it has tips on how to prevent the vibrator from sliding completely inside the anus. Always hold the product firmly. We're not doing that. What we are doing, however, is talking about this toy. Now, this pad is a silicone grind pad. It is water resistant, but not proof, because as you can see here, this is a charge port. The remote, con <coughs> the remote control also has a charge port and the charge cable works on both. It is a standard USB to little jack thing. For the bottom of the pad, plug it in the silver thing, push until it seats, charge. For the remote, find the little silver hole, push it in until it seats, charge. Both of them are USB rechargeable, which I find incredibly pleasant because it's kind of hard to constantly hunt watch batteries for the remote. This has two motors with seven functions. The power is on the back. You'll see the silver spot, a little pointless divot, and then up here is the power and you press on it. And we automatically, if you can see it, there's a faint flashing back here, and there's a faint flashing in the front here. Now we can turn on the remote, and it'll immediately start vibrating. I think this is the back lump that vibrates with the top button. Possibly. And then you hold the button down to turn it off. The second one makes the tongue vibrate, the button in the middle. And it's not so much a licking as it is, you may be able to see it. It is just an incredibly high frequency, buzzy vibration. Let's see. Yeah, 
which is fine. What it does not come with, however, is any form of suction or anything else that I would expect with a tongue-based vibrating system. Now, I have also reviewed the Cal Exotic Lust Remote uh, Grind Pad, the Rider, the Dual Rider. And between the two of them, I will admit I preferred that one. So if you're wanting a sit on pad where the vibrations are more rumbly and there's no tongue to finagle with, I would go with the dual rider grind pad. If however, you like the lack of nubbly texture on this one, if you like a higher range of vibration, like this one felt a lot more buzzy to me and a lot less rumbly. This was also less fitted for me because the way in which I, so if we ignore the tongue, my default way of using this would have been to use the larger lump at the vaginal opening so I could tilt my hips and grind down on the smaller lump. However, the way they want you to use it is you put your butt back here. You grind your clit on the little flicky tongue. Um, that didn't really line up for me. So when I was leaning forward to grind my clit on the flicky tongue, this was rumbling the back, back quadrant of my taint. Like it was too large by multiple degrees compared to the dual rider, which was a more compact toy. If you have a longer distance between clit and taint, this is a great toy. It's good for bigger bodies because it is a much larger pad. Also because of the size of it, it is less prone to sliding around compared to a smaller toy like the dual rider. Now in terms of size, it is 11.4 or like it is 11.4 inches or like 29 centimeters long it is about 8.1 inches or 20 21 centimeters wide the tongue hole is 0.59 inches by 0.79 inches it is a smallish hole 1.5 by two centimeters. This is, the entire hole is about the size of like the tip of my index finger. That was one of the other issues I ran into, which was, well, A, it's not meant to be like a penetrative hole. It is meant to be kind of a grind into hole. And yet when I ground into it while the tongue was flicking, it occasionally felt a little sharp. I am sure that there are bodies for which this is a phenomenal toy. Mine just wasn't one of them. Um, the other thing I noticed was when I tried to wash it, it does not, like it cleans, but you can almost see there's still a, a dustiness and a water splatter pattern to it. And I cleaned it with a toy soap. It has been scrubbed and it just, it's never going to look out of the box pristine again, I don't think. Which sucks. That is the only complaint I have with this thing, though, is that there's no... Three... Okay, so to turn it off, you do need to hold the button again for three seconds. I think the reason why mine needed to be charged in the middle there was because I had just left it on after my last use and it just standby drained its batteries over like five days. So, yeah. If you want a very lovely toy that retails for 150 USD, that is a big solidly made grind pad, that is water resistant, that is silicone, that is rechargeable both in the pad and the remote, which is like, I like that part. I just wish 
that part liked me. And it does have a heating function, which I turned on and have left on the whole time I was talking. And the heating function primarily affects right here in front of this second lump, roughly where the vaginal opening would sit if it was being used as intended. And it heats up to a nice low, low setting on the heating pad. It's not overly hot, but it is warm. All right, you stop. Nope, wrong button. Correct button. So I don't love this toy. If you love this toy and you think it'd be a good fit for you, I'm gonna put my affiliate code right here so that you can pick it up from Peep Show Toys and then I get a little kickback, which would be awesome, keeps the lights on. If you would like to see me everywhere I exist online, including places where I do toy tests like these, that is all at find.lilyoreilly.com. And in the meantime, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, I'll talk to you later. Bye.